My name is Jeff Feldman. I live in West Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, I'm retired uh, f the past six years from the University of Hartford, where I worked there for 28 years as a supervisor of the grounds department. Um, I have a love of nature and wildlife, and 12 and a half years ago, I finally got out in, into a kayak to photograph wildlife, and uh, the bug has hit me. And if anyone is looking to get better photographs and to see much better wildlife, kayaking or canoeing is without a doubt the way to do it. Because being on the water, if you're close to the wildlife, you're sitting low, so you're not going to bother the wildlife. And the birds and other creatures that you will see are going to phenomenon. You know, you'll just be phenomenal. Uh, experience by what you're going to see. Back here in 97 I was paddling Little Pond uh, here on White Memorial and I stopped for a coffee break and I was on the lily pads and this bird came walking across the lily pads and I used my long telephoto lens and I thought well that's really interesting and uh, it kept coming closer so I had to keep changing lenses to get uh, so I could get a good photograph of it and finally I took about 15 shots and it was a, just a beautiful bird but then I put the camera down because I was more hungry than I wanted to photograph never realizing that I had photographed a very unique bird and when I looked in my book that I usually always carry it said northern phalarope but I never bothered to look to see what the bird was from so when I got home on that Saturday I called the fellow in the Hartford Audubon and said, uh, I just photographed a bird and my book said it's a northern phalarope. And the fellow said, well, I don't think so. He said, uh, it's probably a killdeer. And I said, well, I have a photograph. So I sent him the photograph and it turned out to be the first sighting of a northern phalarope in Litchfield. And uh, I ended up having the first photograph of it in 60 years. So because it was such an exciting find for me. And at that time I was dealing with Joan Berry, who was the director here. I made them an enlargement and I guess as permanently as today, it still hangs somewhere in the, in the museum. 